That's why it doesn't go well. Um, Nandi and Tarbo, they're three sisters. Tarbo is the one with the darker face when they all turn around. Ayanda has a white tip of her tail and Nandi has quite a longer bit of white on her tail. That's how we can tell them all apart. However, two dogs do not have the same coat anyway. Um, so they are quite easy to tell them apart if you look hard enough. Not that we do. We choose the easy bit. <laughs> they are quite endangered out in the wild. There used to be about 500,000 of these guys out in Africa. However, now there are only about 3,000. So they are actually quite endangered. And the reason why they are endangered is due to human population growth, um, farming that has encroached on their lands, roads that we have built through, but also diseases that they can catch from our domestic dogs, such as your rabies and your distemper. They can catch those quite easily. Um, so we work quite closely here with a charity called the Painted Dog Conservation Trust. Um, and they work out in Africa with the painted dogs to try and encourage population breeding so that we can get these guys back out into the wild. Unfortunately our girls here don't have any men to be able to mate at the moment um, but in future we do look at breeding them here with us. Now they are well adapted to being out in Africa and catching their prey. If you notice they've got quite long legs on them. These are to help them run fast. They can hold a speed of about sort of 30 kilometers an hour for quite a long distance which is really quite impressive. And because of this, they do actually have a 90% success rate with their hunts out in the wild, which is absolutely fantastic. So you think they'd be doing a little bit better than they are. However, lions, leopards, whatever else is out there comes along, especially hyenas, and will take the food off them. Because these guys are such good hunters, they seem to provide for everyone else out there. And that is a little bit of a problem that they face. 